hi guys so today i want to show you how to animate character tears in iclone i was doing a project recently and i wanted to um i needed to actually make a character cry and um i discovered that there are not too many tutorials out there that show how to do this so somehow i got it figured out and i just decided to do this tutorial and um, share it with you guys so we're going to be creating something like this um um the tears you can see how the tear flows from her eyes um down to her cheeks so we're going to be replicating this so it's very simple just three simple steps because i'm going to head to iclone 7 and um, this is a project i'm currently working on um so what you need to do is just select the character and go to the material the modify the material list tab and then look for the head texture that's the base body um, skin head texture and then go straight to the texture setting and um, select the base color you know of the, the texture just the base color texture and what you're going to do is to save this out so just click on the click on the save button all right and then you'll be able to save this so i'm just going to save this um as um head tears let's call that head tears okay save that out and so the next thing you're going to do is to go to after effects so head straight to after effects and um import that particular head texture that you saved earlier on in iclone so i'm going to create a new composition with this so create a new composition and um now this is where we're going to do the magic we need to create tears around this particular texture okay so um from youtube you can actually get a um a tear crying overlay tears green screen tears whichever one you want to use you can actually get that um so i got one here this is what it looks like all right this is what it looks like so what you're going to do is to actually import this also into after effects so i'm going to bring that into after effects and i will drag it on top of this particular layer and i'm going to change the blend mode to hard or screen whichever one you want to use okay so i'm just going to max this tears if i play along and you see that i have tears around but it's not well aligned so i'm going to max this um, tears and move it around until it align with um, the eyes and the face okay so i already done that all right so i have that figured out and this is what it looks like what you're going to do now is export this particular composition you can just render that out okay render that out and export it so you can go to your file export and to render queue and then you can save it out as either an mp4 okay or you use window media or you save it as quick time these are the video files that iclone actually rec um, recognize so is that is mp4 or quick time or windows media i discovered that windows media works um perfectly for me mp4 also did well quick time um sometimes it gives some kind of error so save that out and then render it okay so this is the rendered um texture it's done rendering and this is what it looked like so what i'm going to do is to actually import this into iclone so i'll go back to iclone um remember the base head texture um that we exported so we're going to replace that video with this so um you can double click on that particular file and just import your exported file so when it's imported um you can see there's a video file here all right um, so we have a video file replaced with the add um, texture file that we had initially okay so if you scrub through now you will see that um, you have tears flowing down the character cheeks you see that okay you can see that tears flowing down all right so you can actually adjust um, the video file texture from your 
timeline if you actually want to do that if there's a need for you you want to adjust where the tiers will start from you can actually go look for your video under your character on the timeline and then look at it the video is right here okay so you can then change where you actually want the video tiers to begin from okay and so that's it guys if you have any question you can drop your question in the comment section um, if you want to see more of these tutorials um, also let me know in the comment comment section um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel forget also on the comments I'm gonna share another tutorial with you all right don't forget to subscribe to my channel